What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the Gamer Dude here. Welcome to you back to another episode of the Pokemon Saga Log. In today's episode, we are going to be taking on a new trial, a new area. I was trying to record, uh, like, a little bit ago. That's why I moved positioning um, a little bit while I was rendering in the background. Um, yeah, that was a dumb idea. My computer said, F you, I hate you. You don't deserve to exist. And it's like, whatever. But... It makes sense, honestly. It's the uh, the video I was gonna try and render was a two hour long video. It's like two hour and twenty six minutes or something like that. It's like one of my lo it's my longest actual video uh, that would go up on the channel. Um, so yeah, so my computer said "f you," I hate you, and you don't deserve to exist, um, which is fine because I love that. Anyways, um, speaking of things I love, um, second position, please and thank you. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go over the team. As this team has changed, we leveled them up a little bit. We have Quaverius holding the big root with Baneful Bunker, Dazzling Gleam, Judgment, and Oblivion Wing. Balboa with Dig, Static, Sacred Sword, Rock Slide. Satan with Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Hex, and Dragon Pulse. Yay with Flame Charge, uh, Acid Spray, Acrobatics, and Clear Smog. Uh, Daddy the Machamp with Stone Edge, Sacred Swords, Spirit Shackle, and Needle Arm, and then Bri with Lands Wrath, Psychic Fangs, Sacred Sword, and Ice Fang. Bri's moveset is something, okay? It is something to be bewildered with. I don't know if we get healed, but I figure I want to make sure, because I think Faba actually does heal you. So you've come at last. Ah, uh, but forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that astounding place is the Aether Paradise. Let me take you about, tell you about the Aether Paradise. As the name suggests, the Aether Paradise is a vert vertible paradise for Pokemon that floats far in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island entirely by human technology and protecting of the Pokemon. Of course, I am an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth. A tour of Aether Paradise it is. You will come, won't you? Sh uh, yeah. Heal me first, though, girl. I know you're not a girl, but... Oh my god, you gotta take me, too. How? No. You, you don't deserve. As Kahuna, I look after all of my trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that... I've got any. I've, I've never even been married before. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest allies are the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe you told the absolute truth. No, straight facts. Honestly, you are your worst nightmare and your worst enemy. And you know, a lot of it's because you know how to dig into yourself. You can just scoop that brain. You want to like be the plague that infests your entire career yeah you can do it but like can anybody else no not usually unless you tell them your deepest darkest secrets and they actually end up being a terrible person but luckily i haven't experienced that so it's fine like not because i mean that's because i also hold stuff true to myself um like to, or hold things into myself a lot so that also does help my uh yeah, but also I usually don't have things to hide either. So I guess that's also another thing. I'm like, I don't care. Like, actually, pff, this is a supportive point. So today at work, um, they asked me, like, do you have your phone, blah, 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 blah. Because um, they were looking up stuff on uh, the internet for, um, like, to find an item on the internet. And I was like, sure, I don't care. You can honestly... I had no care about it. Like, the only thing I was worried about is, like, being able to know where it was. But, Snoop, I don't give a fuck. I don't have anything to hide. Like, I don't care. D d like, the world is your oyster. <laughs> or, in this case, if you search my phone, you're not going to find anything of value or of note other than, oh, no, he likes freaking Shady Penguin and Travis Kelsey. Oh, no. That's not something that's public knowledge anyways. I think, <laughs> honestly, I think that's one of the things that I, that's why I don't care much. It's because I'm pretty much, a lot of things are public knowledge. So YouTube's helped me a lot in that regard because it's like, okay, cool. Like, no, I can be nonchalant about things. Um, like, of course, would I care if things got 
out of hand, of course. Um, but there's a difference, right? Like knowing something and then taking and doing something with that information is different. Um, and it's different if I'm the one relaying that information than if somebody else is relaying that information. You know, I don't know. I guess that makes sense. But anyway, so it was just funny because they were like, you really don't care like about your phone. But like when you come in, you're on it. I'm like, yeah, I have two jobs, guys. <laughs> Technically not necessarily, but like one is like... A hobby and something I care about and I care about the people I'm talking to on it and I've who I've met from it because I've met so many great and amazing people like yourselves from it and I just put my all into that so and I've got college could that I do on my phone because the, this, there's nothing that I can't do on my phone when it comes to college and so it's like okay cool and again, there's nothing to hide. Like, oh, you want to know that I'm doing business math? I don't give a flying frick. Um, it's literally the one literally right below calculus. So it's just not pre-calculus because I did pre-calculus and hated every minute of it. So it's like the algebraic version of pre-calculus and I'm down for it. So anyways, I don't care if you know that I'm doing that. Like, okay, cool. You know, I'm doing something. Like, I don't know, <laughs> which is one of those things. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think of the worst thing that they could find on my tabs other than liking Shady Penguin and Travis Kelsey. That's about it. Um, oh, you want to see? Oh, actually, you know what? They can see that I'm a freaking Madden addict because I have custom leagues and do a bunch of things and then have Madden calculations to see what trades are good or not. Um, and if they're fair, I should say not good or not. I know what trades are good or not, but like, I want to be ha having fair trades. I don't want to trade like some BS to BS. So Madden calculators and Pokemon damage calculators. I don't care. That's about it. <laughs> They're all talking, and I'm like, come on, guys. Let's hurry up already. I believe you have to go this way for this. Also, oh, another thing I need to point out and be forward about is um, while I was out and about, I collected some Zygarde, Zygarde cubes, and it was like, oh, my gosh, guys, Tina wants to talk to you. And it's like, well, I, I mean, we're not there yet, so it doesn't matter. But, uh, so Cena wants to talk to us because we have 10% of the Zygar cubes. We have 10 of them. You must be Gwen and Howe. Welcome to our Aether Paradise, the Foundation's own private island. I'm the president of the Foundation, but please call me Luzamine. I'm so glad we've met. I'm glad that there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own volition and self-righteousness, even for profit. Greed. And that is why I'm here. I will be like the mother, mother to all the poor Pokemon and just shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Lucimine, you are so cool. I'm definitely not sipping with you or for you. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. Uh. What? Yeah, you just crushed on a girl that was over 40. I mean, when I crush hard, they're in 30s, so low 30s, so... I mean, to be fair, when I crushed hard on them, they were 27, so it's fine. The right style does wonders. You and how your style are a bit wanting. Hmm. I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit. L -l like what you wear. I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look except for you. Wow, he really be something hard. Trust me, children. Children would be much happier if they only listened to the adults around them. Yep, that's definitely how that works. That tremor, did something happen on the lower floors? <sighs> I 
I'm scared because this could be like really big. I really hope it's not. I'm leading with Quivarius for this reason. Did you come from another world? Brr. Miss Lucimine, stand back. That's not right. You poor creature. We're fully healed, right? Yay, I was right. We do get fully healed. I wasn't dumb. Hey, but, you know, I'm even less dumb because I freaking checked, okay? I checked to make sure because I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Watch this, like, be my But It's plus worst possible one. And on top of that, worst possible buff. Yes. Well, okay, not worst possible buff because uh, my champ's really the only thing to take care of it, but still. Ooh, dive. Unfortunately for this thing. If dive is its best move, it's it's effed. Because Quivarius says, you have dive, I don't give a flying frick. Yeah, it's just gonna, it unfortunately is just gonna murder itself. I just can't use it multiple turns in a row. You know what would be really helpful? You know, a Wonder Guard Pokemon that can avoid this situation? Yeah, that would be super duper helpful, but, you know, we don't have that. <laughs> Poor Fionn is going to do no damage and then run away because it knows that it can't beat me. You know what? I'm going to let it hit me. That did quite a bit. I wanted the experience. I didn't want it to run away. So it, did, it officially did two damage, but I could have made it do zero. true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. What? Ms. Luzamine, did you say something? <laughs> that creature you, we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast. And it's known for being in a, from another dimension and that suddenly appears from the Ultra Wormhole and looked like it was suffering, like it was pain to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I will save it and I will love it. Thank you both so very much. Yikers. Uh, Wick, these two are in the middle of the island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to the next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. I will go check on the poor resident Pokemon that came into any harm. And I need to speak to Mrs. Tervaba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet. Our newest and perhaps... Wait. For the protection of the Ultra Beasts. Yes, ma'am. Let me take them to their corridor. Ula Ula Island. Yeah, let's go, uh, girl. We can do it. Um, uh, no. What if I don't wanna? What if, like, she gives me a terrible TM? <laughs> Apparently, no. Apparently, she's gonna give us a really great TM. Like, old Origin Pulse, you know, that, you know, Kyogre's move, you know? She'll just, she'll just give us that instead, you know? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Satan. Or, oh, you know what? Imagine if Quivarius can learn it. 
Wow, I can't believe Ultra Bros are, are real. The world is like so big. Let's go to our next island and see what's there. Time to dig into these malasadas. Yum, 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 yum. S yeah. You want a malasada? No. I actually don't. I'm trying to cut down on carbs. I'm a 10 year old. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. IRL. I'm not doing good at that either, so it's fine. It's whatever. Carbs are not really. It's fine. Ula Ula Island. Ula Ula Ula. Who's ready to fight how? Because I'm not ready to fight how. Like, how are we going to fight how? Because how in the world is how going to be strong? No, how is actually going to be pretty strong. Land ahoy. All right. Terra firma underground again. Ula Island is like a totally different place than Melee and Akala, huh? I got an idea, Gwen. Let's have a battle. Sure. Why not? Why not? Let's heal first. Yeah. Let's let's do that. I think you can actually say no to this battle. Hound hour. Hmm. How do I feel about that? I actually think Ooh, okay, levels. Levels be like, what the heck? But I'm gonna go into uh Bry. This is gonna be Bry's first battle. Spite. You think how dare you try and spite? How dare that? Archaeops. That's a swap. Archaeop. Yeah, Babo is probably the best bat here. Because, again. I don't really have any water or anything anymore. No water. Oh, beautiful shiny with oh download. Yikes. Um, don't hit too hard because you're faster than I am. Or you can just not hit at all, and that's fine. Honestly, just do that. I prefer that anyway. That was a really good shiny though. Aerodactyl. We stand on that. Same situation, just don't hit too hard, please. Again, or don't hit at all. That's fine too. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. Our Gigalus is just an Oko thing, so I'm fine with that. Gigalus attack stats 135, so I mean if it doesn't get hit, it's whatever. Carbank. I don't think we have steel move on anybody. I'm gonna stay in. And dig. It's probably to be this year. You know it's not. I should have known that by literally staying in. I literally stayed in because I knew it would be fine. And then I was like, oh, that's resisted. It's okay. It's like, no. But. It doesn't matter. Cool. Carbanks fainted. Covary Soul 32. We'll take it. Dodrio. Uh, I'm going to stand on this actually. Now, with it being Dodrio and with our current circumstance, I am going to heal up to full. Just in case Clarence wants to say hi, but no. But Clarence was nice, so we're fine. Light screen. Okay, Clarence. Clarence is like, I'm just going to accept death. Poor Clarence already knows. Clarence is like, nope, nope, I'm done. I'm out of here. Bye. Poor. <laughs> Natu. Oh my gosh. This was like the giggle of sweep. If I, besides uh, Bry taking on the one that one Pokemon. 
But Gigalith took care of the rest. That was like Gigalith's best fight right there. We love that. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Or no. <laughs> Rocky Papa. <coughs> um, I was I don't know why Dwayne the Rock Johnson came in head. Okay, I guess you were right. Um worse than you. Let's see what Pokemon you're gonna find here. I don't know. But we get an encounter, so that's cool. We get a couple encounters right now, so encounters are always nice. We always take encounters when we can get them. And maybe hopefully moves out because we need those too. Well, that's the big thing we need right now is a moonstone. Like if we can find that, chef's kiss. Melee garden. Oh my gosh, wow. Let's see if we can find the professor here. We can. I know we can. Ba, 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 ba. I actually think I went the... Oh. I don't think I've gone this way before ever. So this is going to be new. But encounter time. It's a... Arcanine. We'll take that. That's a Gen 1 Mastermind. And you know what? I'm actually going to go for the Quick Ball now. Because why not? It's an Arcanine. It's a decent catch rate Pokemon. I'm willing to risk this. We got three shakes. Parting shot. Okay. Well, now we have no choice but to go to Satan, I think. Yeah, Satan. Because fairy is resisted. Fire Lash. Oh, that's a defense breaking move. Female Arcanine. Like, what the heck are we naming this thing? I don't even know. Ooh, ouch. Okay. Now we switch into Balboa. Because Balboa's defense is, like, really good and resists fire. Wow, Balboa took that way better. Okay, heal balls. Luck of the heal ball. Luck of the heal ball. We got this. It's the luck of the heal ball. Mm, I thought we had it. Okay. That would have been funny. Just luck of the heal ball. We can do this. Okay, we don't have ultra balls yet. Nest ball? Not really as effective anymore, but it's still technically a little bit more effective than uh, a regular Pokeball. <sighs> Facade. That doesn't matter. So we know it's a moveset. Okay. I mean, it's not a bad moveset, honestly. Like, that's, that's, that's definitely takeable. That's a very much takeable. Yo, with Balboa, we don't have anything that's uh, effective. Okay, luck of the heal ball, luck of the heal ball, luck of the heal ball, please. We want the luck of the heal ball with me. Ooh, it's being mad. It's being a mad boy. I don't know why you want to be a mad boy today, but you want to be a mad one. 
Just be good, Mr. Arcanine, or Mrs. Arcanine. Okay, perfect. What do I name this Arcanine? I don't even know. Personally, I have no clue what I want to name this. Um... I'm gonna name this Venus because it has a, a, a burning passion. Power of Alchemy. Interesting. That's a very interesting set there. stable sorry I'm like thinking thinking aloud here oh I had burn heels well whatever I thought I did I was like where'd they go it's just they're above the super potions which is why I didn't find them for 10 HP I don't care we're near Pokemon Center if we need it we'll use it Litchy Perry. Okay. Oh, are we not allowed to... Oh, we are not allowed to surf. In here. Wow, I don't know how that did not count as a battle, but we'll take it. <laughs> I feel like that definitely should have counted as one. Do, do, do. Citrus Berry... A chopple berry, three different berries, okay. A dire head. Well, okay. I know that we're kind of doing them and kind of going on our own kind of way here, but. Couldn't get away, really? From a Volbeat? No way. Okay. I just got unlucky. That's all. Good. I was like, there's no way we could not get away from a freaking Volbeat. Because it's a Volbeat. Like, it was a Volbeat. There was no way. Okay. Carrying on, though. Charge Bug. I would have loved to charge a bug, to be honest. I would have been totally fine with that. We're faster than this, though. Because charge a bug means slow. I'm kind of exploring the unknown. Ah, uh, that was all for Zygarde Cube. That was not worth it. To be perfectly honest, that was just not worth it. Oh, that should have counted as a battle, but it didn't. That time it did. <laughs> I was being a little bit too brazen there. A Mega Alakazam. That was, that's, this is, this was not worth it. At all. Not worth the fight. Slight shock, that's okay. I mean, it's faster and we knew it was going to be faster, but.
It's just crazy that when you look at it, and we heal, like, literally all the damage, basically, that we dealt to it. That's insane. Brian wants to learn the thousand freaking arrows. That hits flying types, too. My god, Bri. Bri, I want to I wanna hit flying types. It's better than this one. Yeah, it is. It is better, Bri. You right. <laughs> you right, Bri. Suicune. Oh, wait. That's the demonetization, Doggo. Whoopsies. That's what his name is. It's not. That's not. It's not what I said before. It's demonetization, doggo. Get it right, me. I haven't seen a demonetization doggo in what feels like a forever. <laughs> so my brain just automatically went, "Yep, that's what it is." It's like, nope, no, it's not. Fake out. Oh, <laughs> I was talking to Charizard about steadfast the ability, and it's like it's only pointless. It's pointless unless you get faked out or something like that. It's like you're right. It's, that's. That's what Charizard was said, and I was like, you're right. It's really only if you have to worry about fake out and worried about double battles. It's like, that's the only time it actually is fruitful to worry about it. <laughs> so that's funny. But yeah. Bubble 34. I mean, we're getting levels so fast, it feels. But yeah, we'll talk to, uh, Talk to Mr. Kakui. Seems like you've made it to your third island, guys. Good job. How was the thing? Wow, you found an ultra wormhole? Yeah, we did. We're amazing like that. Of course. I haven't even finished my question yet. The observatory is in Mount Hanakili. And... The Basically, he's telling us, go to your fifth trial, okay? And I say, no, we're getting our encounters first, girl. I don't know why I'm saying girl a lot. I'm like, no, we're doing this girl. It's like, okay. Like, whatever, whatever me. <laughs> I guess we're just going to say girl like 30 times today and be annoying that way. <laughs> Gosh, I need a moonstone and, and stat. But we got three more encounters to get before I end the episode. So it's going to be a little bit longer. But I felt like you guys would totally be okay with a little bit longer episode. Um, especially because there's so much story and exposition going on right now. Mind if I ask you about this? Isn't Nebby so amazing? I know, I have one of my own. He's not that special. <laughs> Here, let's go to this island area. No. How about let's not and do that off camera? I think that's a great idea. Or, or not. Professor! Oh my gosh, it's Mr. Oak. Hello there, Rotom. How are you feeling, comfy in there, that Pokedex of yours? Never better! The fact that he talks. Oh, well, good. Good to meet you. I'm Oak, Samson Oak. I'm a Pokemon re researcher, and I'm looking for regional variants around here. You must be Gwen, huh? Yeah, Kakui mentioned you to me. Rotom, you should be sure to find a, if, uh, help this fine young girl on her trip up the islands, all right? You, who do you think you're talking to, sir? Of course I'm doing that. And you, Gwen, I'll be trusting you to keep Rotom safe as well. That young fellow is from Kalos who helped invent that Pokedex, put a lot of work into it, and as much love and care as any parent. I'll be in Melee Library if you need, if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat anytime. Can you give me a Moonstone? If you are having trouble finding the library, just follow the Black Brick Road. Meaning the patterns of those paths, of course. Black circle, black triangle, black square. Follow the pattern, you'll be right there. Well, I'm your friendly neighborhood officer who just can't get enough of getting out directions. You're a traveler. Well, trials head up to the. L oh, wait. Oh. If you're a trial goer, you should head up to the library. I just said, no, we're not going there, essentially, is what I just did. Us, the library? No. Me picking up that item that might be a moonstone? Of course. It wasn't, but it could have been. We would have never known. Encounter for Route 11 is A. Thing we can't evolve. Lovely. Um... 
Unless it's a via level evolution, which it might. At least it's an easy capture, though. Like, if we're going to hand out positives, it's going to be caught instantly. And we don't have to worry about it. And if we don't extend the length of the episode by too much. Positivities. The positive notes. So this evolves into a Scavalier. So I'm going to name it... Joust. Off of the old game called Joust. Iron Barbs. That's kind of ironic. First Impression, which is really good for an Escavalier, excuse me. The Muddy Water and Healing Move and Sticky... Bruh, that's a really good Pokemon, honestly. That's a super good Pokemon. As long as it doesn't get Shoop Nougats for an ability later on, that's a top quality Pokemon. And we just got Sucker Punch. And we got another priority move. <laughs> good job, us. We did great there. We did really good there. I would have laughed if we got a Shiny Carablast. That had, like, Wonder Guard or something. Honestly, though, it could have Wonder Guard on Evolution. And then we could just have, like, something that, like, helps it with Fire types. I almost pulled a Persona and was like, and then we can give it something that nullifies Fire types. It's like, no, that doesn't exist in this game, John. Good try, though. That's a recycling plant right there, stranger. Not that I'm saying you can't visit. If you're interested, just thought you should know. Oh, I'm interested. Melee City, Outer Cape. It's F you in particular. We're getting all the bugs. I'm like, I'm not mad, but still. Primordial C. It really just was like, F you. Honestly, though, how freaking historic would it be if F you in particular is the one that has the Moonstone? That would be super amazing. Like, if, if F you in particular came over to hand me the Moonstone so that I could evolve in the arena. Like, that's story. That's what we call an arc for F you in particular. Come on. I'm really desperate, as you can tell. Dynamic punch on whom? Oh, no. Come on, F you in particular. We know you have primordial C, so. But you're also especially defensive. That's another thing that people don't know. F. U. I. P. F. U. In particular. I like how I check the summary anyway. Comet punch, punishment, defend order, air slash, and nothing. Okay, F. U. In particular. I can't believe you did that. Maybe he'll bless us with the stone. No, he gave us a toxic gem. Chesto berry, so still not the thing we're looking for. We're just not gonna find it. Oh, maybe. Mm. <sighs> you know what? I should have expected that from Matthew in particular, though. Giving me the stone I don't need. It's like, oh, by the way, this stone that you needed? Yeah, you're not getting it. It's like, F you in particular. Are you looking at Route 10? Yes, we're getting in the encounter, guys. Everybody, is everything okay? It's like, yes, everything's just fine. Lagging tail. This is not an encounter, remember, this is the static Pokemon for the berries. Oh, I wish it was an encounter, though. Heliolisk would have been such a cool Pokemon to use. I me, mean, remember, this is not the encounter. Also, I mean, gosh dang it, why does this hat not hat cannot why can't this be the encounter? <laughs> Only me.
Doesn't this block levitate too? So like levitate doesn't matter for this move for ground types. I think it does. Earth plate. Ooh. Ground judgment. X special defense. A luxury ball. A nugget. That's money. Moonstone. Wide lens. Okay. We got a lot of items though. Like, I can't say that that's bad. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Execute. Oh, that's not a problem. We're okay. That could have been much worse. He's probably level 35, though. 28. Oh, I'm way off. Okay. I think it's just I feel like I should be in a higher level area right now. Because we're heading to the fifth gym, and there are the fifth, basically what would be essentially the fifth gym. And they're like level 28. You're just like, what? Why are you level 28? Max potion. And our encounter finally is. Maybe this has the mood zone. All our encounters, besides one, were really pretty much garbage. But I'm not going to complain. I mean, they're easy captures. And then we'll end the episode off here. <sighs> Mini Mouse. Honduberry. Unfortunate. I don't even know what that does, to be honest. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep up the amazing work you guys do every single day because it does help out the channel a lot in a lot of ways. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!